गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज बहार मॉडल ऑफ एन एटम दिस मॉडल वॉज गिवन बाय नील्स बहार इन नाइनटीन थर्टीन टू ओवरकम द ऑब्जेक्शन रेज अगेंस्ट द रदर फोर्ड मॉडल ऑफ एन एटम नील्स बहार गेव दिस मॉडल so its name is bohr model of an atom so what are the postulates of bohr model postulate number 1 an atom is made up of heavily positive charged nucleus the whole mass of an atom that is concentrated in the nucleus means the whole mass is distributed within a nucleus the electrons in an atom means suppose this is positively charged nucleus and here the electrons revolve around the nucleus this electrons the electrons in an atom revolve around the nucleus in a circular path this is called as orbit or energy level this is orbit or energy level each energy level that is associated with a definite amount of energy like this this is nucleus and this is next energy level where the electrons revolve around the nucleus this is called as k shell these are also called as energy levels energy shells or here the name is k because starting from the nucleus the energy level are represented by the number number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 or you can say that by the alphabet also k l m n shell this is k shell l shell m shell or n shell means this is first energy level second energy level third energy level fourth energy level or th these are called as shown by the numbers or these are also called as orbit the electrons present in the first energy levels that have this one that have lowest energy energy increases on going towards the outer energy levels each energy level that is associated with a definite amount of energy and the energy of the electrons that remain same it does not radiate energy while revolving but when the electrons jump from one energy level to another energy level means k to l shell ya k to m shell ya k to n shell when the energy is given to the electron then it can go to the higher energy level suppose here the electrons are present and it goes to l shell then here we supply the energy but when the electrons jump from higher energy level to lower energy level means upar se agar niche aata hai then the energy will be emit or release means energy is release jab matlab niche se upar jayega to energy hame deni padegi aur jab हायर एनर्जी लेवल से लोअर एनर्जी में आएगा तो एनर्जी रिलीज होगी बट जब इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिवॉल्व करेगा तो एनर्जी कभी भी रेडिएट नहीं होती सो द नेक्स्ट पोस्टुलेट इज द ईच एनर्जी लेवल इज एसोसिएटेड विद द डेफिनेट अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी द चेंज इन एनर्जी टेक्स प्लेस वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जम्प फ्रॉम वन एनर्जी लेवल टू अनादर एनर्जी लेवल मीन्स वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जम्प फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू लास्ट सेल मीन्स के टू एन शेल्स दैन 
energy will be supply and when the electrons come back from n to k shell then energy will radiate or emit so this is the energy change now what is the importance or success of the bohr model of an atom the most important is it could explain the stability of an atom this is very important point only bohr can explain the stability of an atom means according to bohr model an electrons revolving in a particular or particular orbit means or energy levels cannot lose energy apni energy radiate kabhi nahi karta ho but the electrons can lose energy if it jump to some lower energy level means agar wo higher se lower mein aa raha hai to wo apni energy ko emit karega means lose karega if no lower energy level is vacant agar hamare paas koi bhi lower energy vacant nahi hai then electron will keep on revolving in this the same orbit without losing energy so we can say that the stability of atom is maintained so only bohr explain this type of significance now the next topic is atomic number atomic number is denoted by z what do you mean by atomic number the number of protons in the nucleus of its atom you can see that the number of protons present in the nucleus of the atom all the atoms of same elements have the same number of protons in their nuclei so they have same atomic number atomic number z that is equal to number of protons or number of electrons this is the case of neutral atom means in the case of neutral atom atomic number is equal to number of protons or number of electrons means same number of protons and same number of electrons are present here but in the case of cations and anions electrons and electron number is different but proton number is same as that of atomic number here we take the example of sodium atom atomic number is 11 so pro number of proton is also 11 this is the neutral atom so electrons is also 11 now next is mass number mass number is denoted by a this is capital a the sum of number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom this is called as mass number the protons and neutrons together that will called as nucleons nucleon means protons and neutrons together is called as nucleons mass number is denoted by a that is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons that is equal to number of nucleons here we take the example mass number of sodium is 23 this is the formula mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons mass number is 23 here the proton of sodium is 11 this is 11 then how will you calculate the neutrons neutron is equal to 23 minus 11 that is equal to 12 neutron so here we can easily calculate the electrons protons and neutrons by the help of atomic number and mass number number of proton is 11 electron is also 11 but neutron number is 12 now how is representation of a and z with the symbol a means mass number z means atomic number with the help of symbol how will you represent this is the symbol of any element suppose this is x on upper side we write the mass number that is a 
and in lower case means lower side we write the atomic number that is z here we take the example of sodium mass number of sodium is 23 that is right on upper side and atomic number is 11 that is right on lower side so this is the representation of any element with atomic number and mass number upper side mass number lower side atomic number now how will you calculate the number of electrons protons and neutrons with the help of any example suppose this is the example of magnesium magnesium atomic number is 12 means 2 in k shell 8 in l shell and again 2 2 8 2 so after losing two electrons it will form magnesium 2 plus ions valency of magnesium is also plus 2 so atomic number of magnesium that is 12 means atomic number is equal to number of protons it means proton is also 12 and this is the neutral atom magnesium so here the electrons is also 12 now the mass number of magnesium is 24 then mass number is equal to number of protons plus neutrons mass number is 24 number of proton is 12 here put this value here and then we can easily calculate the number of neutrons neutron is equal to 24 minus 12 that is equal to 12 it means proton is also 12 electrons is also 12 and neutron is also 12 after calculation so we, we can easily find out the number of electrons protons and neutrons in the case of every atom here one important note is that if the number of electrons and number of protons are equal then the atoms has no charge it means this is neutral atom if the number of protons is greater than number of electrons then the atoms having positive charge and this is called as cation if the number of electrons is greater than number of protons then the atoms having negative charge this is called as anion so in case of cations and anions only number of electrons are changed but proton number is not changed if having plus sign it means loss of electrons if negative sign is formed then gain of electrons thank you students